Hey everybody, I am going to be doing a matchstick house uh, video. It's been a very long time, I think about July, somewhere around there. Sorry, I haven't uh, been doing videos. What I plan on doing is building a section off here, this bedroom, finishing up this. Hopefully, I'll have enough matches, and I'm thinking probably not. I really dislike doing windows. I like the outcome, not so much the work it takes to hold these little things together. I'm using small matches, the ones that come out of these little boxes here. And I'm using a blister pack from some C, debt, C batteries. But I got some bullet holes on there. I took an X-Acto knife, hobby knife, whatever you want to say. Uh, poked it in a little bit, kind of twisted it around. When I got a little starting point, I took a drill bit. And I drilled from the other side because when a, when a bullet hits the glass from this side, it kind of explodes out. Alright, it's the next day. I have... Last night I finished up the wall. Well, eh, it's not finished. Anyway, I got the, the, the window encased. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Bullet holes. Dirtiness. I got the rug cut. Uh, this section's down here. These are a little bit taller than the one matchstick. This up here is almost to a matchstick. This is, this is about as tall as I'm going to take it. And the reason is... This section of the house is going to be sloped. The roof is how it is in the original photo. But a lot of this, I've taken the original photo to kind of give me guidelines of uh, of a type of house. But I'm going to be changing a lot of it. Molding it to, to how I want it to be. That's the great thing about art. It doesn't have to be exact. You can change it up. You can do whatever you want. And I don't want this to be like, you know, it look exactly like the house. And you're like, oh yeah, it's a, it's a house made out of matches. I want you to kind of be able to see different things, find different things. Every time you look at it, have you know, you can find a little pile of glass down there. You got this uh, porch swing, bullet holes and stuff. Okay, so while this dries, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. You can see a little bit of that charredness there. While that dries, I'm going to try and make the wallpaper out of this paper here. It's like accordion folded paper, got these little dots on it, pretty thin pliable. I'm going to try and do two sheets together, maybe that way, see if you can kind of see through it I guess, maybe, maybe two, we're going to see how this works out. I don't know if gluing these together, when I paint it you're going to be able to see the glue. I'm going to do a bunch of little test ones and I uh, will show you as I go I guess. Okay, I've cut out this little rectangle. It's a double double piece of paper here. I'm liking the way this works, kind of. One sheet, you can see through pretty well. I don't like that. Two sheets, it's not so bad. So, when I put it up there, I can, I can get better colors. It won't be as dark against it. So I think I'm going to do this. And then another thing I want to think about is if I'm going to make it actually look like strips of wallpaper if I'm going to do a solid panel across. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, I've cut this down. I've glued the two sheets together and I cut them down. I noticed uh, when I glued it, I took um, just regular white glue. And I'm just glue. Stuck my finger in it, spread it around a little bit, and I like that it uh, makes the paper wavy because it's going to make your wallpaper look uh, a little bit older and uh, a little bit more tattered. I just put it up to this window if you have a window. Um, you can just put it up here, hold it kind of up to the light so it shines through and I just took a uh, scalpel and I poked along it uh, so I had the outline and then I cut it out and then I just uh, cut it sliver by sliver back to get down to the lip. I've got this section over here, I cut it a little bit longer so I can crease it so that this side can uh, go over it a little bit um, so so it gives kind of like a seamless flow around the corner. Okay, for the second wall, I've done the same thing. I've glued the two pieces together. I first I'm going to put this against the wall. I just took a, the big piece of paper, put it against this wall, traced it uh, from this side with just a pen. Uh, rough cut it out. And then along this section here, I've ripped it so that it is pulled back. I want some of these boards to be showing. I'm going to make it look kind of burnt. I don't know if I'm going to try and make these look like uh, wallpaper strips or not. 
but we'll see how this turns out. I'm liking it so far. Okay, I took and I did one layer of acrylic white paint onto the onto the paper, which kind of gave it a little bit of a of a barrier between the the watercolor and the paper, because otherwise the the paper would absorb the watercolor. And I was able to put uh, my green lines down and then kind of uh, wash it off, sort of, and smear it around, which kind of gives um, a, a molded kind of look to the paper. Also, um, the, the lines and everything are going to be faded on the paper. So this I'll, I'll go back in and, and touch this up a little bit. But uh, yeah, I'm getting it dirty. Okay, I have finished the wallpaper and put it up. I really like it looking kind of moldy video is not the best on here but oh well you can see where there's, you can kind of see the green lines uh, the wallpaper has been faded and got some burnt edges around the wood here darken it up uh, it's gonna have a lot of water and stuff getting in here so it's gonna really dirty up and mold the, the wallpaper also darken up the carpet and the way I've done this is uh, I put down a layer of the acrylic and so it doesn't absorb into the paper like I said that earlier but uh, I dab black paint on here uh, acrylic paint and then I put drops of water just took my brush with water on it and dabbed it on there and it kind of picked it up and left uh, a rim around it just like it would if it had mold and I'm liking it. It's got some tears in the corner here where uh, I was cutting the paper while it still had glue uh, was drying. And I ripped it a little bit, which I kind of like. Kind of tore it up a bit all around the edge. Okay, and the last thing I've done here is I went ahead and added a curtain. Not exactly uh, what I was thinking it was going to turn out as, but I like it. So yeah, what I did was, I have an old pillowcase that was falling apart, had a bunch of holes in it. I uh, ripped it down into a couple strips and then took some scissors and frayed it up. And then I kind of rolled it in my fingers to uh, to stop it from having such a straight edge, kind of. Uh, dabbed some black paint onto my fingers and kind of spread it around on it. Added some water and, and dirtied it up a little bit. I added some white so it, it wasn't so dark and it gave it a little bit more dimension kind of so it didn't it didn't just look black you know uh, I carved a matchstick down rounded it out kind of painted it brown and rusted a little bit uh, it doesn't show up too well because of the, the curtain covers up a lot of the, the paintwork but that's fine I then wrapped uh, well what I did was I took uh, some wood glue I put it in the palm of my hand added a few drops of water and then uh, rolled the curtain in it kind of stiffens it up and then I wrapped it around the, the matchstick and glued that to the wall. It's kind of neat. You can see it through the window. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. So when I get some more matchsticks, I will uh, work work on this section of the wall here and here. And then after that, I'll be able to build the roof for this. And that will be the front of the house. And I can start on the sides and the interior. So yeah, this is it. You should go and follow me on Twitter. I upload photos as I'm working on it, so you can kind of get updated as I go. You don't have to wait around for videos. And it's kind of neat. I'll post up some other artwork as well while I go along. I kind of like the way that bows out a little bit. Kind of like the wind blowing in. So, yeah. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Um, it's a little bit far and in between on my videos. I'm sorry about that. Hopefully, I can get this done soon. Looking forward to it. Yeah, thanks. Talk to you guys later.